Hello everyone. I am Dr. Pani Madhuri, Consultant Fertility Specialist, Obstetrician and Gynecologist working at Kiran Fertility Center, Bangalore. Do patients with low AMH need to undergo IVF? That's a big question. Low is how low is the biggest question. So any value of less than 1 nanogram per ml suggests that the AMH is low and the fertility could be on the declining trend. Though of course a single value may not really be uh, the most important factor. There are added factors like the age of the female partner and also the antral follicular count on the second day of the menstrual cycle. All put together if is indicating that the fertility potential is on the lower side, you have to get alarmed. If it is slightly less around the value of 1, you can try simpler treatments like IUI for a couple of cycles based on the other factors like male factor and the tubal factor. But if the values are significantly less like less than 0.5 or less than 0.3 sometimes much lower then of course you need to be more aggressive in terms of the treatments that you plan to do because every cycle will only deteriorate your fertility potential further but will not enhance. So you can't lose out some precious trying uh, simpler modalities of treatment like trying naturally with ovulation induction or IOIs wherein actually the male factor is normal uh, but it's not happening because of the oocyte defect. So that is where you might have to undergo aggressive treatments like IVF which actually tries to bring out whatever maximum number of oocytes that are there in the body through a exhaustive stimulation protocol and try to help you get the best egg out of the treatment and try to help you conceive. So I think people with very low AMH values should not waste too much time before deciding on IVF treatments.